And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And towing the slab here, Frankie Montas. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist, Singy. Yeah, his ERA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you, you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Trey Turner at the plate. And he deals. That misses the zone. And this one is off and running. First pitch, 7 5 The pitch. That's in for a strike. Swing and that one hammered down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. Trey Turner goes deep. His first homer of the year, it's 1-0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Gotta love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. And now it's Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a pitch. That one inside, and it's one and one. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. to the right side. Rizzo takes it to the bag, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And time now for the Phillies lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the 1-0. Way high. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering down low and in the dirt. There's a strike. 3 1 count. Saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count full. Yeah, the right hander deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Left hand batter waits. That one missed. 2 -oh count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. That one spoiled, and the count now 2-1. and one. The pitch. Yeah, there's a ball. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Swing and he breaks his back. He's in there. Kyle, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Next offering is down low, and it's one to know. What a year 2022 was for Kyle Schwarber. He won the Silver Slugger, led the National League with 46 home runs. The only guy in the majors that hit more home runs than him singing was Aaron Judge. Harper runs. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in the Bronx and on the mound now, Bailey Falter. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. To third, Boom collects. Fires across the diamond. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's a look at Aaron Boone's lineup for the Yankees. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. DJ LeMayhew, that a good one down, takes a strike. The 0 1. Hit in the air, right field. Makes the grab on the run. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two good. outs. That is an excellent pace. It's Aaron Judge now. Big time power. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plate discipline as well. Next offering is down low. And the pitch. Bounce to the right. Sneaks through. Base hit. And now a two-out opportunity for Giancarlo Stanton. 
That just a good. simple ground ball the other way that you had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Two for four in the game last night. To the left side, but it is well foul. The pitch. And it's even up. At the belt and fires. And a count one and two. Step off throw to first. Judge gets back easily. One and two here. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Judge off of first with two away. And down on strikes. Third out. One left for the Yankees. They trail here. One nothing. Back now in the Bronx. Second inning set to go. And here's the veteran outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. Chris Kyle Schwarber, a guy with prodigious power. He's made a couple all-star teams, won a silver slugger, an Ohio kid who played his college ball at Indiana. He's one of the better power hitters in the sport. That's a strike. That's strike one. Next one misses, and that's ball one. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent, as you mentioned, and Maybe a little generous on the edges. That one fouled off. The one, two. That one just misses. It's a good take. That misses the zone, and now it's three and two. And the righty deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And first offering is fouled off. Real Muto was an outstanding high school quarterback, was signed to go play quarterback at Oklahoma State, but when he was scouted in high school, he was mainly a shortstop. Marlon Scouts decided after seeing him catch one time that if they drafted him, they would convert him to catcher. Smash to the left side. And here it comes. Ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that bitch. And a 1-2. Down the line towards the corner. Judge is there. And there's one down. That, that, the designated hitter. Nick. Castellanos. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Let's turn the five, four, three, here. Let's go Here's the pitch. Runner on the goal. 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw comes in quickly, so even with the runner on the move, he holds it second. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Two on, one out. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a strike. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So first and second with two outs. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. In there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. And now the count is even. Schwarber, the lead runner out at second. Castellanos on at first with two down. Next pitch inside. And a count two and one. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. In the dirt. They got Shioka to first, and the inning is over. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. of the inning, Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Falter, back to work. Foul ball. Next offering is foul back. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Glaber Torres in the box now. No balls and a strike. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Jordan should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. That is seven. The left field. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. The switch hitter batting right. Bounce to the left side. Has some trouble with it. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. So two down, Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. In there, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. 
perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The pitch. Out there to center. And a superb diving catch. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. Back at Yankee Stadium, Trey Turner now. The shortstop. Trey. Turner hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Hey. That one's in there. 0 oh 1. Into center. Bader should have it. He's there. He's got it. One up, one down. Now that Third base. Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. That one's in there. 0 and 1. Felt impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Righty delivers. And ball one. There's a strike. Fights that one away, still one and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else. Perhaps a fastball a little more straight and below to it. Jordan stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. That one to first. Rizzo takes it himself out number three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they lead it one to nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, and now Bader up to the plate. Singy, you gotta appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much crown, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. That one misses, and it's 3-0. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, 
who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. The wind of the pitch. They say it went. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Over one so far. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hit on the ground might be two. The throw to second is offline. Well, every double play turn starts with getting one, and even though these guys work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed, you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. First and second, no outs. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. Fall off foul. And a pitch. Yeah, a foul ball. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Roll to short, possible two ball. Turner to second on the Hoskins. Double play. comes Aaron Judge and he's already singled in this game first pitch doesn't find the zone so after the double play he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game swing and a high fly ball that one out towards left center field way back there makes the catch up against the wall. The Yanks leave one, they're down one nothing. Back in the Bronx, Bryce Harper to the plate. Certainly you'd say Bryce Harper's signature moment, game five of the National League Championship Series in 2022. That opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them to the World Series of the Padres' Robert Suarez. The why to kick the pitch. Strike two. Oh, and two. That one blasted deep to right. Bader ranging back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Chris, when you think of Kyle Schwarber, how about the impact in the playoffs? He hit some iconic home runs. The one on top of the Wrigley Field scoreboard in the division series against the Cardinals in 2015 and then in 2022 488 feet off you Darvish it set a Petco Park record for distance Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's got what we call light tower power. And even when you have a guy like Bryce Harper on your team and you wow him with the home run, 
that says a whole lot. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. One, two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. And now it is JT Real Muto. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Connor Falefa throws the first in time. And Real Muto is out. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Phillies one and the Yankees nothing. Bottom of the fourth, and now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Falter back to work. Ball one there. That nope. one misses. Ball two. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Ball the next three. offering misses. Three and oh. Good plate Ball. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. No outs. Runner at first. Digging in. Anthony Rizzo. Yeah, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. And he deals. My drive, that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, see, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving at full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he has seen it like a beach ball. Labor Torres up to the plate, flied out to center in his first at bat. In there for strike one. Stanton on second. Rizzo on at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. The 0-2. On the ground is short, could be two. Slings to second, on to Hoskins. Double play. Next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Reached on an infield single his first time. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, Foul ball there. And the pitch on the ground right side. 
Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that is the inning. One left for the Yankees, and it remains 1-0. Back in New York, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Castellanos. The wind and the pitch. Hey. Going one. And a swing and a miss there. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. That one's in there, 0-1. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next one off the plate inside. Two and one. And that one a little bit high. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. The batter number two. One down. Josh Harrison stands in for the Phillies. He's 0 for 1. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Grounded to third, could be two. Over to Torres. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So they go quietly there. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies one and the Yankees nothing. Welcome back. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. And here it comes. Strike right there. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Got him. And yeah, there's one away. Well, he just went right after him there. No messing around with the off-speed stuff. Here's my fastball. If you can hit it, go for it. Three fastballs. See you later. Definitely builds your confidence out on the mound. Bader in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. to center and a base hit. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And next for New York, Isaiah kiner falefa Step off, throw to first. No, Bader good. dives back. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh one. The 
the other way. That's a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Now it's LeMahieu up to hit, and that's in there for strike one. Two on, one out. That one missing inside. Swing and a drive. Left field. Way back there. And that one is out of here. That should fire up the dugout. Just like that, they move in front. It's 3-1. Sure, there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to be a foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Aaron Judge at the plate. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. They say you win. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now that the designated hitter, John And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He's all for one. Now snap throw to first, and Judge back in safely. Nope, first off, bring it just misses. One of the things to remember about John Carlos Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. Stay out of the double play. And a pitch. There's a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Connor Brogdon preparing to come on if needed. Strom, a left-hander, also throwing. Judge, at first, one gone. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Pitch misses there, and it's two and two. That's down and in. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Got him looking for the K. You think he caught him off guard with a fastball right there, Chris? He didn't look ready for it. Yeah, no doubt. I think that's exactly what happened. You look at the sequence of pitches. He didn't see anything firm until that last fastball. So you got to think he was still sitting off speed and just couldn't react quick enough to even get a swing off. That's good pitching right there. And here is Anthony Rizzo. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. When we talk about Anthony Rizzo defensively, one of the things I like as a former outfielder is his ability to handle foul territory and just negotiate that sidewall to make some incredible catches. And now the lefty on the ground right side, and that's just foul. He's super aggressive, crashing at first base. He's one of the best throwers at first defensively. And, of course, he Don't picks the down. ball in the dirt as well as anyone. Left-hand hitter waits. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs.
got him swinging. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And this is now a three one ball game. You're dialed into the show. You softly because you like the gas tank over Mr. Softies in the wind. It ain't feeling you. See, every time you see me, I got something new. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Trey Turner. Trey Turner. Montas back to work. And he takes a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And the right hander deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And the leadoff man aboard. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. No outs. Runner at first. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Montasa moved to first, and he's back standing. Hard ground ball, base knock. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. First and second, no outs. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Jordan. This guy with light tower power. First offering, misses the mark. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark, a little late, opposite field knock. The 1-1. One, one. First and second here, no outs. They say you win. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. And that one missing low. If you're the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. This to center field. Bader should have it. Brings it in. Runner tags up for third. Save! Two on, one out. And now Bryce Harper. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First pitch, just misses. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering is in for a strike. Turner, the runner at third, boom. At first, one gone.
Heidi to the plate. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. That misses, and it's two and two. And a pitch. Hard hit, left side. Stops it on a slide. One and second to first, not in time. Great effort there. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. left fielder Kyle Schwarber a strikeout and a walk first pitch and that's in for a strike well, just about to hit that century mark a hundred pitches for this game left hand batter waits just missed Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Montas a move to first. Harper's back in a dive. Here's a two one. Now a screamer into the outfield. And he'll play it on a bounce. Just a huge at bat right there. Nice uh -huh. job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Darren Boone makes his way out of the dugout, and he will make a move to the bullpen. Montas is done in this one. Pretty good effort, and he exits with a lead. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. New pitcher for the Yankees, Domingo Herman. This is his third time out this year. First and second, two outs. JT Real Muto, the next to hit. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Now fly ball to right center. Bader sizing it up. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that's the third out. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. Yankees three, and the Phillies two. On the mound now, Connor Brogdon. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here comes Glaber Torres. For the Yankees. Brogdon the measures base. six feet, Glaber. six inches, 205 Torres. pounds, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2017. The pitch. And ball one. The pitch. They say you win. Right handed reliever. And that one in the air center field. Jordan right there to make the grab. And there's one down. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Activity in the bullpen. Gregory Soto getting ready to go. Let's go 
swing and a ball lifted in the air shallow left field and he makes the catch and there's two down two outs space is empty here's the catcher Kyle Higashioka Higashioka 32 years old and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2008 and yeah, the first well, offering is not close. Strike on the inside corner. Rolled over to third. Boom. Loves it. Slings it across. And that is that. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Back in the Bronx. Now it's the DH, Nick Castellanos. And things could change quickly here with one swing. The wide of the pitch. Clips the outside corner, and it's 0-1. Yeah, there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Sets him down on strikes. Put the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Hoskins pushes it foul. One down, Phillies down a run. That's in there. Oh, a two down. No ball, two strikes. Just oh, off the outside edge. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Righty delivers off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Now this is in the air down the line, and it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Got it by him for the K. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. So digging in, Josh Harrison. In there, and it's 0-1. There's the swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. In the dirt. Throw on to Rizzo, and that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional Bottom of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. The center fielder, Harrison Bader. The pitch. That ball misses, one. and that's ball one. Ball 
And that one off the outside edge. Next offering is foul back. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Right hander kicks deals. Just missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Long run, nice grab. And there's one away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Isaiah Kiner Falefa for the fourth time tonight. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And he deals. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Stretches out and hauls it in. The <laughs> and now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Certainly a factor in this one thanks to his three-run blast back in the fifth. Well, definitely one of the most impactful swings of the game. A big reason why they're working with the lead and looking to add to it right here, Boo. That one's in there on one. Line drive, base hit. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So, man aboard. Here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Kicks and deals. Yeah, there's the strike. Just missed. In the air, right field. Harper has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. The Yanks lead one, but they still lead at 3 2. Clay Holmes takes over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just Good. filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. Here's Trey Turner. He's already homered in this game. You know, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And a pitch. In the dirt. And that is ball one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. 
Fixed offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And now it's even up. a big first out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Wings through that one for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The tying run at the plate. One ball, two strikes. Doubled up on the slider away. Two-seamer here. Let's watch and see. And a pitch. Out to short. Connor Falefa throws the first in time. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Brandon Jordan. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on. And downstairs. And this one could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So they turn things over to the righty, Scott Efrons. He's making his second appearance of the season. So runner at second, two down. Here's Bryce Harper, known for his late inning heroics. And the first pitch misses for ball one. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Next one misses, now 2-0. Oh. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open, he can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Duo is in for a strike. Oh. 
swings through that one out in front that time. Runner leads away at second. Pitch misses, and the count's full. So the tying run at second, and ball four, two aboard. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. In the box now, take strike one. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. The old one. Now one and one. And here it comes. That misses off the outside edge. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And the righty deals. And one fouled off, two and two. Big spot, two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. That one misses, and it's three and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just gotta let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. A new pitcher in the game, Matt Strom. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. John Carlos stands to the plate now. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. The other way, and he beats the shift. Anthony Rizzo now at the plate. First pitch, not close. And now the lefty. There's a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Action in the pen down there. Gregory Soto getting loose out there. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Runner at first with no outs here. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Come on, Kicks and fires. Struck him out without a swing. 
Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Labor Torres up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. One run game, one out, one on. That to right, Harper has a beat on it. Makes the catch, and there's two down. Up next to the game, the left fielder, Oswaldo. Man at first, now at the plate, Oswaldo Cabrera. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs. At the ball. Stan, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. The 2-1. On the ground to short. Trey Turner gloves it. They take the force out. That ends the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they're up 3-2. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Michael King. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. JT Real Muto steps in. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Strike two. Not a swing you want to watch again. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, I'll definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. And next is the designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. First offering, misses the mark. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And yeah, the right hander deals. That's the ball. This is inside. This one popped up. And makes the grab. Two down. The first base is number 17. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. The outfield playing into pole with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. King, a 6-3 righty, 
He features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. No One-run game here in the top of the ninth. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. That clips the corner. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. Liner, base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Substitution now at first base. Pinch running here at Mundo Sosa. So they're down to their final out. Josh Harrison digs in now. First pitch way inside a fastball. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? The 1-0. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The pitch. Yeah. And that's in for a strike. There's the strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Got him! And that's the ball game. With this win here today, you've won the first two games of this three-game series, so you would think the work is done, but when you're at home, I don't believe so. You've got to come back with a mindset for game three that you want to win it and you're going to go out and do everything that it takes. You win like that at home, you position yourself for good things down the stretch. 3-2 the final score. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Hate on you show up. I ripped up and clicked up my pilots while we hold.